Kenya, volcanoes, and volcanic fields. Barrier volcano. Barrier volcano is an active shield volcano located in the north of Kenya. It is last known to have erupted in 1921. And we're going to take a look and see if we have any views here. It does not look like we do, so we'll see if we can get a lower so you can see the size of this. And moving on to the next one, Central Island. Central Island, also known as Crocodile Island, is a volcanic island located in the middle of Lake Turkana in Kenya. It is composed of more than a dozen craters and cones, three of which were filled by small lakes. The two largest lakes partially fill craters up to a kilometer wide and then about 80 meters deep, the floors of which are near sea level. The highest point on the, on the dominantly basaltic island reaches 550 meters, about 190 meters above lake surface. An east-west trending chain of small explosion craters cuts the eastern side of the three kilometer wide island. Several small islands to the southeast represent partially submerged crater rims, and other cones and lava plugs lie beneath the lake surface near the island. So let's see if we have a view for this island at all. We don't have one there, but we're going to back out and see if we have one anywhere else. We have one actually right here in the lake. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so right here. Ah, okay, so we're on land, but I'm not sure. Well, I guess this may be the island here. Unless that may be it out there. <laughs> okay, I'm moving on to the next one. Chayulu Hills. Chayulu Hills. Chayulu Hills is a mountain range in Makinu County, southeastern Kenya. It forms a 100 kilometer long volcanic field in an elongated northwest southeast direction. Its highest peak is 2,188 meters high. We'll see if we have any views in this area. We do not appear to. We do have a road over here, so let's go to the road. And we'll look back over this way, and this is the Kulu Hills over here. In that direction. Back here. Moving on to the next one, Mount Elgon.
Mount Elgon is an extinct shield volcano on the border of Uganda and Kenya. Geologists estimate that Mount Elgon is at least 24 million years old, making it the oldest extinct volcano in East Africa. So we'll come in closer. And take a look. This is Mount Elgon. And moving on to the next one. Almatica Badlands. Almatita Badlands is a lava flow in Kenya that covers approximately 9,000 acres. The land is punctuated by pyroclastic cones of Holocene age. And you can see the cones here. That's one. And there's some here. And here. And here. And here. And this is Mount Ebru Volcano is over here. I don't know. There might be a view in this area, so we'll see if we can find out. And there is, so we'll get one right here. And this is one of the craters here. And moving on to the next one. Emeru Gagolak. <coughs> Emuro Gagolak is an active shield volcano straddling the Gregory Hills, Gregory Rift in Kenya. In East Africa, it has a 3.5 by 5.0 kilometer or 2.2 mile by 3.1 mile caldera on its summit. The last known eruption was a tracheite flow which occurred in 1910. Steam vents and fumarolic activity continue from fissures within the caldera and along the flanks of the volcano. Several mar lakes exist in the rift valley adjacent to the volcano. The volcano summit is 1,328 meters or 4,357 feet in elevation, and its formation is calculated to have been 38,000 years ago. So it's in this area here. So we're going to come down here and do a, a tilt. And it shows it's within this area here. And Moving on to the next one, Mount Homa. And hang on one second.
Mount Homer. Is a mountain located in western Kenya. It forms a broad peninsula on the southern shore of Wenham Gulf, an extension of Lake Victoria. This peninsula defines Homa Bay, defines Homa Bay, and the mountaintop is about 20 kilometers north of the town of, of that name. The mountain is formed of carbonite lava and dates from Miocene to Pliocene. Along the active Oiduyo Lingai, it is one of the very few carbonite volcanoes in the world. And we might have a view here. And does not appear that we do. So moving on to the next one, Mount Kenya. Mount Kenya is a stratovolcano created approximately 3 million years ago after the opening of the East African Rift. And tall. And there may be a view on this. There's one here, so we'll go here. And not much to see there, so we're going to look and see if we have another spot here. There is one over here. Hmm. Okay, well, trying to find spots here. Oh, wait, there's another one. Okay, we'll go over here. It's harder to see if they're in the browner area. Okay, so this is Mount Kenya up here. Isn't that beautiful? And moving on to our next one, Karusi. Karusi is a shield volcano located in the Gregory Rift at the northern end of Lake Baringo, Kenya. Check this out. And no view there. Our next one is Lekau.
And I don't have any information on this area. I believe it may be a roof zone. Moving on to the next one, Mount Longanot. Mount Longanot is a stratovolcano located southeast of Lake Navisha and the Great Rift Valley of Kenya, Africa. It is thought to have last erupted in the 1860s. Its name is derived from the Maasai word Alangu'at, meaning mountains of many spurs or steep ridges. There's another crater over here. And you have a lot of these here, so we're going to go look on this one. And this is looking inside the crater. A little bit fuzzy here, so it's outside. Let's see if we can get a better view. Let's go over on this side. Well, there's one down in there, so maybe we can get this one. And this is a view for the inside of the crater area. Moving on to our next one, Mount Mars a bit. Mount Mars a bit is a 6,300 kilometer basaltic shield volcano in Kenya, located 170 kilometers east of the center of the East African Rift in Marzabit County, near the town of Marzabit. Two of the Mars host crater lakes. And you can see one of them is here. And the other one is here. This one is Gaf Sorka Guda. And this one is Sokorda Dika. So we're going to see if we have any views here for these. We don't appear to, but we have off-road view here, so let's go over here. There's the town area. This is Marzabit, Mazabit County. Menengai Meningai is a massive shield volcano with one of the biggest calderas in the world and the Great Rift, Rift Valley, Kenya it is the largest volcanic caldera in Kenya and the second largest volcano caldera in Africa. Volcanic formed 
rich loam soils enriched, enriched the adjacent farmland around its flanks. The crater on the floor of the Rift Valley. The volcano formed around about 200,000 years ago, and the prominent 12 by 8 KM caldera formed about 8,000 years ago. The caldera floor is covered with numerous post caldera lava flows. The Meningai volcano is considered one of the best preserved Krakatau style calderas in the world. Meningai has very little sediment in the caldera, which has a thick mass of lava boulders and inaccessible ridges. Volcanic activity continues, and a current project under the GDC is at an advantage stage towards geothermal power generation. So if you look, this is Meningai Crater here, which is what it states here is crater. And then you can see this is geothermal here. So I don't know if there's any views in this area or not. But you can see the outer edges here. And we do have one here, so we're going to go right here. Hmm. And it looks like the inside of a shop. Huh. So that's the inside of a shop here. Uh, not what we were looking at, but at least we got one photo. You can see it says Meningai Crater. And I was looking for more views, so I don't know if there if I can find any more. Ah, there's one over here. So this is along one of the walls, and this is a view inside the crater. And you can see over here, it looks like there's a maybe a geyser there. And moving on to the next one. And that's the viewpoint is actually right here. So that's Midnight Guy Crater Viewpoint. Next one is Namarunu. Namarunu. Namarunu is a shield volcano located in the Great Rift Valley of Kenya. And moving on to the next one, North Island. North Island in the Lake Turkana is the northernmost and smallest of three volcanic islands in the lake. It is primarily composed of trachytic to trachytic, 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 <laughs> phreatomagmatic deposits from overlapping eroded tuff cones or tuff rings. The center of the island consists of a young tuff ring and about one kilometer in diameter nested inside an old tuff ring. Two fresh, unvegetated lava flows that reach the lake shore from the central tuff ring formed lava deltas on the north and west side of the islands. island. The northern delta is about 900 meters wide. The two blocky lava flows are younger than a terrace that formed less than 10,000 years ago during the last major high water level. 
He and Watkins found this in 1988. Geothermal activity occurs along a curvenular ridge on the south portion of the island and on a wave cut platforms and beaches of the southwest shoreline. So let's see if we can get a closer view here. And we do not appear to have a view on this one. Let's back out. No view for this one. And moving on to the next one, Nyambini Hills. Nyambini Hills is a shield volcano and is capped by numerous phonolytic cumulo domes, basaltic cones, and lava flows of late Pliocene to Holocene age, Hackman, 1989. The basaltic cinder cones are the youngest features. They are clustered in a northeast trending belt along the crest of the shield and a north-south trending area including Mula Hills and the Gaika area. Let's see, we have a view here. We do not appear to have any. But there is a hill's peak here. And no view there. Moving on to the next one, which was an unplaced, untitled place mark. <laughs> This is an active complex of volcanoes in the Great Rift Valley. To the northwest of Lake Navasha it is being exploited for geothermal energy. Seyo Sambu Conservancy is located to the north of the massive between Lake Elmitia to the east and Lake Nakuru to the west. And you can see this is Mount Aburu is over here. And this one goes under Aldoyo Aburu. The next one, Ukaukwa. Ukaukwa? Ukaukwa. or island camp. Okakwe, the elongated Okakwe Island in the center of Lake Baringo, southwest of Kurosi Volcano, consists of a young basaltic scoria cones that cap a tracitic shield volcano. North-south trending faults cut the complex, producing west-facing scarps. Smaller islands to the north and south are faulted basaltic lava flows. Permalak Island to the southwest is a breach tracidic tuff cone that fed a small lava flow. The latest eruptive activity was estimated to have occurred within the past, past thousand years. Smith in 1991 found this. Hot springs, boiling mud pools, and fumaroles are present along the faults on the northeast peninsula of the island are infrequently visited by tourists. So let's see if there's a view here as we have uh, visits by tourists. Sometimes it's harder. We got a picture over here. I don't know if we get one on the island. Oh, we do. Oh, nice. Hmm. And the trees are in the water over here.
And this is the one end of the island here. Korea O Korea is geothermically active geothermally active the geothermal complex and power plant lie within the Hell's Gate National Park the surface of O Korea is dominated by a percoline rhyolite dome and lava field. The complex contains many craters of volcanic activity that often erupt in small volumes. There are at least 80 such centers of activity, mostly either thick lava flows or steep-sided lava and pyroclastic domes. So this is all, all, all Korea here. And I'm going to see if we have a view for this area at all. And we do, we have one over here. This is Hell's Gate National Park. Hmm. So the area we're actually looking at is back that way. Let me see if I can go back that way. Nope, I don't want to go over there. We'll go over here. Check that out. That is like wild. And that is O Najawa Gorge. Okay, you guys, moving on to the next one here. Paca Volcano. <coughs> Paca Volcano is a shield volcano located in the Great Rift Valley of Kenya. Geothermal activity is widespread at Paca. Paca means ochre and Pakat. I know V is on the spot, so we're moving on to the next one. Saguru Plateau. Saguru Plateau, a large number of late Pleistocene to Holocene basaltic cones, lava flows, and Mars occur along a roughly 50 kilometer long northeast southwest trend on the Saguru and Rosaras plateaus and area to the southwest. 
This volcanic region is located well east of the East African Rift and south of the massive Marzabit Shield Volcano. The two plateaus host most of the vents and are bounded by the Milgis River to the north and the Meril River to the south. Other vents lie to the southwest, east of Koro River, and another large area of basaltic lava flows lies to the west. You see how big it is? It's huge. Mount Salali. Mount Salali is a dormant volcano in the Gregory Rift Valley near Capeto, Kenya. Salali is south of Sugata River, which reaches northward to Lake Takana, Turkana and is about 70 kilometers or 43 miles north of Lake Baringo. I don't know if there might be any views here. And we don't appear to have any here. South Island, Kenya. South Island of Kenya, the southernmost and largest of three volcanic islands in Lake Turkana. South Island, sometimes referred to as Hono Island, contains numerous tuff cones. Early stage tuff cone formation may have been associated with a high stand of Lake Turkana, dated in, at about 10,000 years ago, and later subaerial activity postdated postdates the high stand of the lake about 3,200 years old years ago. The island in part is part of the volcanic course that extends 10 kilometers to the north beneath the lake surface. Fresh looking lava flows erupted from north to south fissure extending the 11 kilometer length of the island for much of the eastern shoreline. The dominantly basaltic lava flows are morphologically similar to the youthful Holocene flows of the barrier volcano at the south end of Lake Turkana. An eruption from a scoria cone on the island was witnessed during Count von Tiliki 1888 expedition. I don't know if there'd be any views for this one, but we can look. And there does not appear to be. And our last one for Kenya is Suswa. Suswa is a shield volcano in the Great Rift Valley of Kenya. It is located between Norak and Nairobi, the capital of Kenya. So we can see how big this is. And we'll see if we have a view for this one at all. Let's go closer. Maybe we have to be closer. Hmm. It does not appear to be any on this one. Anyways, you guys, thank you for tuning in. Please like, subscribe. Remember to share my videos. Um, we'll be back and be doing another video here soon. Thank you and much love.